First Alert Weather is brought to you by the Medical Center. After a snowy and cold Friday, we started to warm things up slowly but surely by Saturday afternoon and evening. Then yesterday turned out to be not too bad. In fact, very close to average for temperature this time of the year, right around the middle 40s. Today will surpass that, but only for one day. And then things come crashing down once again. Plus, we've added in a chance for some snow later tonight. Here's a look at First Alert Live Doppler radar. Nothing going on this morning. We're all clear. Temperature in the middle 30s, which is uh, a bit above average for overnight lows this time of the year. 35 currently. Checking other mesonet sites, mostly well around the freezing mark up in E-Town at 32. Then you start to see mid-30s, even close to 40 degrees. Back to the west of us, a little bit of a light to, to moderate southwest wind. 5 to 10, even up to 15 miles per hour. May add a little bit of a chill to the air this morning, but overall it feels pretty good depending on or despite, I should say, this time of the year, which is January, and we've had some very cold readings. But today, I think we may get close, if not reach 50 degrees here in Bowling Green, maybe 48. A little bit further north up in Breckenridge County at Hardensburg, maybe 49 for Hardin County in the Elizabethtown area, 49 and sunny today for Litchfield and Grayson County. By the way, all this brought to you by the Powerball jackpot for the Rough River Lake area. Uh, the Powerball jackpot for Wednesday night now estimated to be at $131 million, while Mega Millions estimated to be at $51 million at their next drawing. As you take a look outside, this time we're down Scottsville Road in front of the Bowling Green Airport, the mall area, all looking good from Independence Bank. A nice clear sky. The current temperature at 35 degrees. A little feels like temperature of 33, just that little bit of a light southwest wind now coming in at four miles per hour. We check some other sites. Here's Franklin starting out at 36 degrees this morning under a mainly clear sky there in Simpson County. Russellville and Logan County, you're starting out at 37 for a low temperature this morning. And 37 is the reading at the Bowling Green Airport at this hour. And really no one is awfully cold at this hour. We do have some clipper systems that will be moving in and kind of resetting the Arctic air that we have felt in the past, not like we did two weeks ago, but it will be pretty close, as you'll see coming up in the seven-day forecast. In the meantime, we can bask in the fact that we're five degrees warmer than we were at this hour just yesterday. And look at the string of 15 to 20-degree jumps in temperature off to the north of us just ahead of that cold front. Well, things are quiet on radar, hardly anywhere close to us seeing any activity on the screen, even though we've got this weak cold front that's going to come in today. Now, what this front will actually be doing is laying a foundation of cooler air. As we get into the afternoon, we'll reach our high of 50, but I think we'll start to see temperatures trending downward as we get into the evening hours. That will lay the foundation of cold air and a shift in the wind to the north and west. And then here comes our clipper system. With that will be uh, some moisture, enough to squeeze out a light coating of snow overnight tonight and early tomorrow morning. I do anticipate tomorrow morning we could have some travel issues right here in southern Kentucky. Maybe a dusting up to an inch of snow with that clipper system coming in in fast pace. That's why we call it a clipper. It just rushes on in, dumps a little bit of light snow, and then moves on. But behind it, as you can see, the temperatures are going to be downright frigid as we go through the rest of the work week. So so today, enjoy this. This will be the only day this week that we'll see 50 for a high temperature under a sunny sky. Then tonight, increasing clouds, chilly 27. After midnight, we'll begin to see snow moving in from our northwest. And we'll see a snowy day tomorrow. And I said, uh, as I mentioned a little bit earlier, dusting up to an inch possible. High of only 30, but it'll feel much colder than that with those northwest winds. 27 on Wednesday and cloudy. Down into the teens as we get into the next few nights and not recovering that much, only to about 40 by Saturday.